Australia's second biggest city boasts land values running into untold millions. It was interesting to reenact Melbourne's humble beginning, the first sensational takeover bid in the country's history. In 1835, a certain John Batman persuaded the natives to sell him a little parcel of 600,000 acres, the site on which Melbourne developed. Mr. Batman seems to have been quite a businessman. He persuaded the Aborigines to sell for a few knives, mirrors and blankets and 100 pounds of flour. That makes present-day property tycoons look small beer. Those were the days. However, the natives were so pleased, they even gave the clothes off their backs. The deal went off cordially. Then they made a song and dance about it. <laughs> Melbourne today, an immense city with a population of nearly two millions. So rich, John Batman's price wouldn't buy a dinner at a big hotel.